backing up your site is crucial because you never know what's going to happen to your WordPress site and you don't want to lose your valuable information, right? Now, there are many different ways to back up your WordPress site, but in this specific video, I'm going to show you a recommended plugin that we use that has worked well. If you go to plugins and you click on add new, we're going to be searching for a specific plugin called the duplicator. So up here, click search plugins in the search bar and type in duplicator. This is the plugin here and it's created by life in the grid. You want to click on install now, click OK. Click activate plugin and there you go. Now when it comes time to back up your site, all you have to do is simply click on the duplicator and you can go under settings and for advanced uses you can go through and check whatever you want and whatever you don't want but in this case what I found is just to leave the settings by default unless you really know what you're doing if you click on packages what we want to do is create a package so if you click create new you can create a name for the package and this right here is the date of the package so this is great because you know what the date is of when you backed it up. So the way this works is all you have to do is enter that, leave it as it is, however you wish, click on next, and what this will do is it'll scan your site. As long as everything is good, sometimes you'll see something like total size, big or something like that, you can ignore that. What you want to do is click on build, and at this point it will basically compress your site so that you can download it to your computer. So at this point in time, what we want to do now is to download these two files. You have the installer and you have the archive or the compressed file of your site. And you need these two in order to restore your site. So let's go ahead and download these two. So once that's downloaded, we can restore it which I'll show you how to do in the next video.